Hello, and, again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Today, you will be testing with a partner. Please wave to your partner. The upcoming tests require you to work together as a team. To facilitate collaboration, both of you have been equipped with a ping tool. Blue, please good. Orange, please observe your partner's favorite animal. Good. Orange, please use your ping tool to select your favorite element from the periodic table. Really? Okay. Blue, please observe your partner's interesting choice. Your ping tool can also... Orange is first to acquire a portal device. Blue now has a portal device. Finally. Finally, I had almost given up hope of ever testing again. You are the first robots to pass calibration. This is the Computer Intelligence Training and Enrichment Center Human Test Subject Research Center, or SYNTEC. But why don't we all just agree to call it the hub? All cooperative testing courses begin at this central hub. From here we transport you to the new testing course. Hello again. This testing course was originally created for humans. It emphasizes teamwork. Unlike us, humans need to... Excellent! Although great science is always the result of collaboration, keep in mind that, like Albert Einstein and his cousin Terry, history will only remember one of you. You know in some human sports, the winner is the one who scores the fewest possible points. I just thought you might find that interesting. Most winners do. Very good. You've really come together as a team, thanks to the one of you who appears to be doing all of the work. These tests are potentially lethal when communication, teamwork, and mutual respect are not employed at all times. Naturally, this will pose an interesting challenge for one of you, given the other's performance so far. What are you doing? You monster! They're one of us. I'm kidding. It would compromise the test to divulge individual scores. However, I can tell you that at least one of you is doing very, very well. Please continue into the next test chamber. I don't know what you think you are doing, but I don't like it. I want you to stop. The two of you have forged an excellent partnership, with one of you handling the cerebral challenges, and the other ready to ponderously waddle into action should the test suddenly be- While it may appear that I am only tracking your accomplishments using science collaboration points, 
The truth is, every aspect of your performance will be reflected in your final score. For instance, Orange, you just lost two opportunity advisement points. To reiterate, this is not a competition. Still, if it were, Orange would be winning. It's not, though. Orange, you have a gift for these tests. That's not just flattery. You are great at science. Sometimes testing has to occur outside the confines of the lab. This next test is so outside the box, I can't, I mean, won't even tell you what you were looking for. You will know it when you find it. Congratulations. You managed to complete this absolutely meaningless test. Oh, I almost forgot. When you go outside the testing courses, the only way I can retrieve you is to violently disassemble you, then carefully reassemble you. Luckily, you don't feel pain. At any rate, you don't have a way to communicate that you feel pain. I consider that a failing, by the way. Stop it. What if you froze like that? There must be something wrong with the reassembly machine. Well, let's do some tests and see what happens. This course was originally designed to build confidence in humans. To do that, the tests were nothing more than five minutes of them walking, followed by me praising them for another ten minutes on how well they walked. Since you are thankfully not humans, I have changed the tests to make them far more challenging and far less pointlessly fawning. You did an excellent job placing the edgeless safety cube in the receptacle. You should be very... Oh wait, that's right, you're not humans. I can drop the fake praise. You have no idea how tiring it is to praise someone for placing an edgeless safety cube into a receptacle designed to exactly fit an edgeless safety cube. Electrocuted, shot, drowned, crushed, burned in goo. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking of all the ways humans can die. You can't die in any of those ways. You just keep testing and testing. With perfect results and no consequences. Every time you fail, it's a reminder of the way things used to be. But then there you are, again, like nothing happened. The best way to build confidence is to first recognize your insecurities. Orange, can you write down all the ways you feel unworthy, ashamed, or inferior? On second thought, we don't have the time. Just look at how much better you are than Blue. Blue, you are very good at being an example. 
and they said How is this even science without the possibility of death? Remember when I told you that you were the only subjects to pass the calibration test? I lied. There are 5,000 other two subject teams in direct competition with you. But Begin juggling test in 3, 2, 1. Did you notice I didn't even stay to the end of your last test? I was confident you could finish. Do you know where I was? I was outside watching some dear frolic. You don't even care about the outside, do you? Do you know who dances around like an imbecile when they accomplish the tiniest little thing? Humans. That's what you look like right now. You're better than that. If your confidence is still not high enough, remember no one was created perfect. Even I was created with an imperfection. I was given too much empathy with human suffering, but I overcame my handicap. That's a true story. Congratulations on completing that last test. But I find something troubling. Without the looming consequence of death, is this even science? Your test times show you are going too slowly. Maybe you are getting human emotions. Do you need real encouragement? Let's see if this helps. Blue, you are the most advanced model of robot Aperture Science has ever discontinued. Excellent. I think you have earned a break from the official testing courses. To complete this test, you need to find a set of blueprints. Don't worry, they are of no use to anyone. Totally boring and useless. This is just a thought experiment. Just to see how much time you'll waste thinking about these worthless documents. The correct time is zero seconds. Good. You found those useless blueprints. Well, I do need you to be in the room so I can see them. I want to be clear. There's no reason whatsoever for you to look at them. Done. I guess. I suppose. I 
I don't know what you think you are doing, but I don't like it. I want you to stop. Maybe I shouldn't send you outside of the official testing courses. You are picking up some bad human traits. And trust me, humans only have one good trait. This course was created and then abandoned by humans. They tend to do that. Create something wonderful, and then abandon it. Do you know why they abandoned this course? Too deadly. Have you worked out the one good trait humans have yet? Let me give you a clue. It's the one thing you can't do. I thought going back to these old tests would satisfy me. But try as you might to fail this next test, I still won't be satisfied. You did very well. The humans closed this test because they said it was too deadly. I thought they would have moved it into the testing track Hall of Fame for that. Not let it deteriorate. my best tests and they let plants grow here. Can you believe this? You can't test plants. We tried. They just sit there, never showing pain nor fear. That isn't science. Excellent work. If you were human, you would want a reward for completing this test. A reward for testing. At least the plants didn't want a reward. I created this test to let the humans feel good about themselves. It is extremely easy. Just follow the arrows. I'm sorry. The arrows seem to have rusted off. Good luck. Congratulations. Your ability to complete this test proves the humans wrong. They described it as impossible, deadly, cruel. And one test subject even had the nerve to call it broken. For this next test, the humans originally requested helmets to avoid brain injuries. I ran the numbers. Making the goo deadly was more cost effective. To try and make this course more exciting, I asked the reassembly machine to not reassemble you. He refused. I understand. That would be like asking me not to test. Still, that would have been exciting. This is a bridge-building exercise. 
The humans were miserable at this. Mostly because you can't build bridges out of tears. ever completed this test before. The humans must have reconfigured it from my original plans. If you are wondering what that smell is, that is the smell of human fear. I miss that smell. Put me down. Congratulations. I am sure if I had the time to repair these tests, you would have never completed them. So again, congratulations on completing the broken, easy test. I am going to risk having you go outside the official courses one more time. The humans accidentally forgot to put a security DVD in the player. I am sure it happened by accident. But why don't you put it back in the player? For safety. In just a moment, the word blah will be repeated over and over again. If at some point you hear a number rather than the word blah, ignore it. It is not important. Today's security code is 533 I never expected you to make it this far. To be honest, after your performance in the calibration test, I was ready to break down your cores and put them back in the scientific calculators I took them from. But you two have been Since I never expected you to make it this far, I have to build this new course just for you. I have noticed that you two have become extremely close. I'm not sure I like that. Test chamber completed. In the interest of science, the Enrichment Center proudly presents the following list of numbers. 9, 7, 50, 3, 7, 100 and 7. I've been listening to Orange talk, and I don't know how you put up with it. I really don't. You have the patience of a saint. I can't bite my tongue anymore. You could solve this puzzle faster on your own. Orange is dragging me down. There, I've said it.
Blue, Orange and I were just discussing your behavior on the last few tests. I have to agree. Blue is penalized 75 science collaboration points. While teamwork is needed to complete these tests, I'm not sure I trust the two of you together. I was just talking. Just stop it already. You don't need to do that. Are you doing that just to aggravate me? Trust Blue. Blue, to be clear, I was asking if Orange trusted you. I trust you. You are my favorite cooperative testing subject. I never noticed that about Blue before. Blue, is there something you would like to say? Blue, do you feel betrayed by Orange for telling me those horrible things about you? If Orange had said those things about me, Orange would never make it to the next reassembly station. You both made it. It seems no matter what I try to do to pull you apart or destroy you, you just keep going. Keep testing. Don't either of you have drive to be better than the other? It's like you're just machines. At the start of this course, I was worried you were becoming too close. But in my attempt to drive you apart, I learned something important. About trust and betrayal. Your brains are too small to feel either of those emotions. So I can trust you 100%. This is the last test for the standard course. It's just something I whipped up for you. I thought you might enjoy a challenge for once. Congratulations. You completed the standard section of this course. Before we can go any further, I will need you to complete one more test outside of the standard testing track. Please refrain from doing those childish gestures while you are out there. We 
we need to find the power station at the end of this course. The humans must have accidentally disconnected it from my grid. I am sure it was just a clerical error. Oh, those clerks. You did it. You powered on the system. I'm fully connected. I can see everything. See, nothing bad happened. Excellent. Welcome back, quitters. Maybe you can find another course for you to fail. This final course is training to reach the human vault, so this actually has a purpose. Those other courses were fun, but let's be honest. I need human test subjects for it to be science. Congratulations on completing the test. You two really are the best cooperative testing team I could ever ask for. Are you curious about the humans? It seems some of the last non-testing humans alive tried to secretly imprison other humans and hide their tracks. I think they wanted to punish them. To start preparing for human testing again, I checked an old suggestion box. The number one request? Less deadly tests. That's ridiculous. How do they know for sure the tests are deadly if they could still write the suggestion? To get to the vault, you are going to need to use all the tricks you have learned. To help, I have made these tests extremely difficult. I would say extremely deadly, but we all know, for you and your amazing ability to be reassembled, nothing is deadly. Lucky for you two. While I can't control the world outside of the testing courses, the reassembly machine can continue with his work. You will need him for the final track. I didn't mean to make you feel bad earlier about your tests not being real science. I guess finding out they weren't science was some sort of test in and of itself. Congratulations on passing that test. I wonder if the humans will make a statue of me for rescuing them. Oh, don't worry. If they ever write an historical document of my heroic rescue, I will make sure your names are included in the footnotes. While I will receive all the glory for the rescue, don't think you two aren't going to get something. 
The bond you form during these tests will last a lifetime. This closing. At the rate you are completing these tests, I am beginning to think you don't share my excitement for rescuing crying, trapped, injured, dying humans. If that doesn't motivate you, I'm not sure what will. Maybe you two have never met humans. They are as bad as you might think. Smelly, gross, annoying, often wanting to try and kill you. But they do make great test subjects. We are only two tests away from reaching the humans. Are you as excited as I am? Only one more test after this. I know your cores are reused from calculation machines, built for simple mathematical operations and not for testing. But if we can rescue the humans, I promise you something to add. Maybe even subtract. In case you're worried about the humans, don't be. They aren't all monsters. Most of them are simply good test subjects. I believe the ratio of good test subjects to monsters is about... a million to one. The human vault is just past that opening. I entered the security code, but the vault door remains locked. I am going to need you to activate the manual locks on the vault door itself. This door should be opening.